Hi, this is Sherry Veronica, and with me in studio today is Patricia Benedict, and she wants to talk to you about Andy Armstrong, who is the Managing Director of Armstrong Agency, and also Michael Anthony Shaw, who we presume at this moment is the development, he, he works at the Development Bank of Jamaica, and how they all, how these particular people are part of what is happening in the Sunset Crest area. So Patricia, please, uh, I, you know, explain to our listeners why these two men, Armstrong and Shaw, why are they important and part of the puzzle that we are trying to put together with what's happening over there in Sunset Crest? Yes, uh, thank you for having me, sir. You're welcome, uh, you're welcome. Well, Mr. Shaw, okay, I will start with Mr. Uh, um, his name is Robert Andrew Armstrong, a.k.a. Andy Armstrong, marketing director of agencies. So, Sun Secret Property Owners Inc., he was the president of homeowners from 2006 to 2009, three years, which manages common areas and assets for 500 residents. That's a lot. So, I'm assuming the residents would be like from maybe Beachview. Um, I'm calling View, sorry, who has about 120 um, private owned condos. That's what I'm assuming. And Beach, um, a Beach, um, Summer Villas, anyway. So um, he also has a, a um, he's also head of a group called Integrity Group. Um, Integrity Group. Integrity, integrity, integrity Group, sorry, Barbados Inc. So, um, and 9th of February, I'll just start with him first, and I'll go with Mr. I combine them together. 9th of February 2019, I sent you a photo. He yes. gave a meeting at the beach house. But I also took a photo, I sent you a photo of him given his contribution at the meeting of Sunset Crest Property Owners Inc. They had a meeting there on the 9th of February, 2019. Amongst other things, they were talking about um, the, the preparations for the whole Tongue Festival. Now, I'm going to go into Mr. Ante M. Anthony Shaw. He, is, he was a, he's the chief executive officer of Mass Operation, which he owns. That period crossed with his time as a CEO of the Nation Group of Companies from 2015 to 2019. I'll come back to that. Um, he, he also um, directed into um, no. He's also um, several companies which he had led on base in Barbados and includes mass corporations consulting the Nation Group of Companies and Signia Financial. Group. Now, the reason why I wrote that down, Signia Financial Group, if anybody could remember last year when I took pictures of when this Bailey, for whoever he was, came to take one of Mr. Joseph Jordan cars. And um, they didn't have the proper work to do that. So this is one of the, the places that Mr. Shaw um, worked at. I'm not saying he was involved. I'm just, just showing you um, what he worked at that place. Mr. Shaw has also worked in senior management positions at Royal Bank, RBC, Royal Bank across seven Eastern Caribbean islands and KPMG, um, Pete Marvick, chartered accountant in Jamaica and Canada. He has 25 years as a regional banker with experience in retail and commercial and commercial lending, that's very important for people to grasp. He has 25 years of um, experience in retail and commerce, commercial lending and record of strong relationship building and finding solutions to assist customers. Much of his commercial land, um, lending experience was with Scotiabank in Canada and Jamaica and Barbados. He was appointed a new managing director for the Development Bank of Jamaica Limited, effective April twenty, April first, twenty twenty-two. Actually, that was an April Fool's Day. So now I'm coming back to my point, Miss Veronica. Okay. 
Mr. Shaw, Mr. Robert Andrew Armstrong, a.k.a. Andy Armstrong, uh, would have had lots of um, pull in, in what goes on and still does to this day. The Sansa Crest Property Owners Inc. Believe it or not, although he's not there, but he's he also lives in the area. Um, I provided you with a copy of the Integrity Group Barbados and the names of the people and um, the addresses or whatever. But okay. I'm only going to concentrate on the um, Michael Anthony Shaw and Mr. Andy Armstrong. And I have a copy of a letter dated um, November the fifteenth, two thousand and sixteen. It was uh, uh, Mr. Jo Mr. Joseph Jordan wrote to Mr. Shaw, and then in response, Mr. Shaw said, thank you for your letter on November 11, 2016. So he, uh, we will investigate the matter. M. Shaw, Anthony Shaw, CEO, the Nation Group. When I asked Mr. Jordan about this, that particular letter, he said to me that he was having challenging printing, having anything printed in the nation newspaper, like documents, you see how we, now he could have printed the, that he owned the land. Yes. He could not have done that before. He had a lot of challenges. And one of the reasons, believe it or not, one of the reasons to, I had to go down there and tell him like it is. I, I don't know if Mr. Shaw was there at that time. And eventually they had started having Mr. Jordan print um, stuff. So, now, 2016, that letter, um, he didn't investigate, which he probably wouldn't, he never investigated, really. And then I have this document, Ms. Ronica, where it says Integrity Group of Barbados Inc. This is, pub this is public knowledge. So his company number is 43352. Um, notice is given to that on the 18th day of March, 2019, the following persons uh, who appointed directors. And guess who's one of the names down there, Miss Veronica? Michael Anthony Shaw is one of the, and he is chief executive, he was the chief executive of occupation, chief executive officer. So which means it could only to come to conclusion, if he's a chief executive officer, I was wondering if he was still at a nation newspaper when he, when, when he decided to go to Mr. Um, uh, Mr. Armstrong? Uh, Robert Armstrong Integrity Group. Was he? And if that was so, so, oh, so you don't know. I, I, well, okay. I, well, if if the letter he left, I think he left the nation maybe in 2019. I don't know what he um, month, what month, and I think I'm assuming that he left in 2019. But if that was so, that was conflict of interest. But my main concern is that. Even if he was there or he wasn't there, after you know I mean, don't you think you know it, it? It doesn't look good when you cannot like, investigate. You, the CEO of a company, you cannot like, investigate something somebody's having challenges with, but you could join an integrity group. An integrity group is to was to um, you know what integrity? Yes, you know, Mr. yes, Mr. Um, Robert Andrew Armstrong, aka Andy Armstrong have the integrity group for. But there was no integrity about that group, Ms. Veronica. What he did, what, what I saw as a Bayton, as a Caribbean person, as a black person, he was making laughing sport at us. How you could in investigate yourself? You can investigate yourself. If you're saying that you, you're in for integrity and stuff and, and the right thing and you're always talking about certain words, using certain words on air and stuff, but pot, can't, pot cannot call Kettle Black, Ms. Renica, when he when he's doing the exact same thing. And that's what he's been doing all along. And he's still part of that group. So when people come on some of the, the individuals in there come with the negative comments, I it don't bother me. I'm just bringing in the facts to people. So what I'm saying is those two individuals, Mr. Mr. Michael Shaw, um, Anthony Shaw, of the nation, the unit, when he was the CEO, and then he was appointed um, a member of the Integrity Group. 
that would have been sort of, even if he had leave, Miss Veronica, I, I would not, I personally would not have taken the job. I, I would not have I found, my, found myself in that position. So this is the contribution I want, because I want to open people's eyes. And Mr. Andy, Robert Andrew Armstrong, a.k.a. Andy Armstrong, think people are, we Caribbean, we Asians are stupid. I don't know if I could use that word, or silly, whatever I word it is. For him to be a part of an organization with some suppressed property owners, Inc., as you see, 500, you see what it says? Assets of 500 residents. If that's the case, and the land do not own, do, do not belong to you all, what do you think he is committing, Miss Veronica? The thing about this is, they think the land belongs to them. And he's two-faced to go on. I mean, he's been on all the platforms. And the nation knows, Miss Veronica. They're not stupid. Miss the nation knows what's going on. What what what, what 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 knows what's going what on. do they know what do they know is going they know that that george jordan's being cheated out of his property is that what you're saying that they know yes they know because i have even have documents where they have published stuff in the past one pertaining to me in particular where i used to live and that should have never happened miss veronica because that's why they have their lawyers for their lawyers who are Specialized, what do you call it, in land or something like that? Yeah, real estate. I don't know. Real estate, I think so. To know that, the, so now all of a sudden, now you're you know, all the times, all the decades, you're frustrated, Mr. Joseph Jordan. You didn't know he owned the land. You knew he owned the land all the time. But because of who some of those CEOs in the past and a past were, I'm not talking about the present one, I know nothing about the present one, who were. Uh, uh, um, associated with some of the for the, the San Suppress property owners. They refuse. And there's more I have to speak about the nation and some of the employees of the nation. So, okay. So, so bring this home because I kind of got like lost in, in everything. Andy Armstrong, who is the managing um, director of Armstrong Agency and was once a member of the association. He's still, although he's no longer... He no longer has a um, president. Yeah. yeah al although he's no longer the president, you're you're saying he's still involved with what is going on there in Sunset Crest. Yes. And and, yes, and, and, and as such, as such, what does how does that affect George Jordan? Because it's the power thing. It's the power thing. It's 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 it's, it's, the, it's the and and you have to blame the, the police. Okay. The muscle men, the police. Okay. Okay. So let's talk about it's Michael. An thing. So Michael Anthony Shaw was once um, part of the niche. He was once uh, some sort of big show. He was once okay. He was once he was once the CEO of the nation, and he prevented George Jordan. And George Jordan has said that he owns shares of the nation, so he's a stakeholder in the nation. So. You're saying that Michael Anthony Shaw, as a CEO, which will make that will make George Jordan his boss. That will make, that will literally make George Jordan <coughs> Mr. Shaw's boss because well, George Jordan says he well, owns. I, not, I, I, I and I'm going to correct you on that. Okay. I not, okay. You, you said something just now. Okay. I go ahead. I don't want to put okay. it that way. Go ahead. But what I'm saying is that I'm just showing you the letter that 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 he the response i'm only talking about the letter that the response of mr gt in he, he said he would investigate the matter he never did who, he never who, did that in 2016 who, who, who said anthony shaw he said he would investigate what's going on in sunset crest no no he would investigate the matter meaning that mr joseph jordan were having challenges with having things printed in his the, the nation newspaper okay i see i see so nothing was investigated. And so, then you find yourself in a, a document I have, you're part of an integrity group. Okay, so he's part of the integrity group, and but yet he, he served up. He served up no integrity as, you know, as relating to Joe Jordan his, and his, um, his ability or inability to publish anything in the nation news. But recently, we have been seeing Joe Jordan publish 
certain things uh, with um, Scotia Bank, the Bank of Nova Scotia, and you know what is what is his or what is not his. So, can you decipher? Only now, only now, only now, because I had to. I, I told you, me and Julius, Mr. Joseph Jordan, are not friends because there are a lot of things I know. But only is only now, now after the only exposure you you and other people have been the pressure and exposing them, they cannot make that mistake in printing anything for those people anymore. I'm not saying they're gonna they're gonna try to do it, but they will not risk it anymore. In printing anything for those people, you mean he, they would not? Meaning, meaning um, since the crash, they were. Okay, so now they're allowed. So now yeah, they're. For Ackman. Ackman knows, owns nothing in San So now they're. As I will speak. So now they're publishing things that George Jordan has sent to them. Can you. Because uh, I published it online on Naked Departure on YouTube, and they said that I could not read. They said that George Jordan only owes a little, a little small, a little 623 square feet. You know, so this, that's like a room. 623 square foot. That that's like a room. True. So, okay, a lawyer okay, wait, wait. Okay, okay so, 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 so you were his, but you were his, you were his, you were his paralegal at one, well, uh, a power of attorney at one point. Can you decide no, for, only for the water, only for the water. Oh, I see. Only for, I see. Only for the water. But can you, can you, by looking at what I put up, explain what that is? I had to, for me, when I went to the Water Barbados Water Authority, I had to show, bring a document which I provided for them that he owned the land, Miss Veronica. Oh, I see. For me to get anything done okay. pertaining to the illegal pipes. But this, but Barbasino was still allowed up to this day, still have the pipes still running. So they always restrict, he always had to provide stuff, but the other people never had to provide anything. Be it Barbados Water Authority, Light and Power, Flow, which I will be talking about too. Did you okay. sell? Okay. Didn't have to provide nothing. Okay. Because she had, she was the, 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 she, Papa Sino is the, what would I call, would call for Santa Cruz? What would you call, what do you call her? What do you call her? She's the main person in there. So, okay, this so show, she, she okay, knew. this show, this show today was to show, was to show how Joe Jordan is being marginalized He's being mm. um, he's being set aside, and there's there's a there's a there's a a, a, a club that is in, that is in place there in Sunset Crest to usur mm. to usurp to to take what is what is legally what legally belongs to a born and raised and bred Bajan. Mm. He he is born mm. there. He's raised there. His, you know, he, he's from Barbados. He's he's from the he's from the mm. soil. He's from the soil. And you're saying that mm. you, that in Barbados, in the Sunset Crest area, there's a faction. There's a there's a certain set of people put in place to disenfranchise owners or George Jordan. Yes, yes, yeah. Not only George Jordan. I could speak about, speak about Mr. John Scantabury. I have a, a, I was investigated for Mr. John. That's another matter I will talk about Mr. John's Canterbury case and what the whole town police did to him. I yeah, was but, investigated yeah, for that. Yeah, but let, a lot of landowners here, I'm going to San uh -huh. a lot of uh, all over Barbados. That there are people coming from overseas and making claims or running things. Making claims or, or, or they are. The, the, the certain people put them as fronts for fronts for okay, them. Okay, okay, okay. So when you hear that word front, you think about laundering and you think about, you know, mm, trafficking yes, and yes. you think about things like that. Yeah, Austin Hickey, Austin Hickey with that, he's, he's supposed to be the president now of the Santa Cruz property. Okay. Owners, he works for Jada. Okay. Now those co co condos he built, built there on the beach side, whatever they call them, mm -hmm. That's Jordan's land, on Jordan's land too. So they use themselves as presidents to do certain things, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. To front money. So he is the president now. So they put him there as a president so that he could, he's been a president for a while, I think. But they put him there so that he, whatever dirty business he is doing, if the condos out there, he is able to do it because he has a he has a good excuse saying, "Well, he's building these properties." Okay. So okay. And so the, 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 the Americans are watching him 
um, for, for certain reasons. Okay. So, okay. So, but you have um, white people and black people who seem to have a little power in place and they are taking over certain parts of Barbados, maybe all over Barbados. Yes. And just you just have to pay them enough money and give them a title and... You know they seem to they seem very willing to do this. So um, I, 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 let me just bring. Let me just say one more thing before I forget. Okay, this. it's rather unfortunate they're using locals, they're using the locals, and it's very unfortunate the locals because they're so desperate for yeah. money or money, whatever. Money and title. Job. Yeah, money and title. They, yeah. They, you know. Yeah. Okay. So, um, is yes. there do you, it's over 20 minutes. Do you want to pull this in and pull it home? And yes, okay, yes, go ahead, Miss Veronica. That is it. Oh, so you don't have that anything else to say? Much. Okay, so no. this whole, so this whole show was the show. <laughs> I keep saying show, show. This whole uh, interview was to detail how in the Sunset Crest area, if you own land, you may, you may find yourself disenfranchised because of a certain group that's in there that is that is working to take things from the, uh, from the mm. people of the soil. These people are foreigners. Yes. These people are foreigners and they are trying to take things from people who may have legally bought and legally think they own and legally have paperwork, but these people are going to produce whatever or maybe they don't even need to produce. They have the police yes. and, the, and the, they have the power. Or make up stuff from the land registry. Too. Yeah, the, the, yeah so they, I've them. heard I've heard of the land registry changing things in the in the back rooms yes. and that kind of oh, stuff. Yes. Yeah, so, so Barbadians are in a predicament then. You, you know, Barbadians, if, if they don't align themselves... And really watch what they're doing and who's coming in and who's running things. They are they are in a real predicament. Mm -hmm. hmm. They will lose everything. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I want to thank you for coming in today, Patricia. And thank um, you very I, much. yeah, I think that's it. This is Sherry Veronica, Naked Departure Radio.